talk about being sport for options. One day fishing the eastern beach, the next here on the western side fishing by boat. This place is amazing. Hayden Wild from Wild About Boats has come across to take us out for a spin, one of his seafarer vagabond sports fishers. Although the winds are keeping us from heading out wide, we're still happy to muck around and flick a few plastics in the lee of the island. I know for a long, long time, if you were serious about your offshore fishing and you wanted a boat, it was the, the 6.2 or 6 metre victory or like this one, the Vagabond? Yeah, the, well the Vagabond's been a popular boat. Whether you have a, um, a bigger single engine or a twin rig, you can set this boat up for either way. And right. It's um, got plenty of cockpit space for a boat this size to fish a few guys out of. Yep. And they've been known for their finish. They do an excellent finish on the boats, don't they? Yeah, they're really, um, really well finished off. The quality of the boat build and the guys that have got seafarer tend to stay with them because of that reason. They, uh, once they've got a seafarer, they'll always buy another one. At 6.2 metres in length, this is one of the larger boats in the seafarer fleet, designed for fishing with a few mates. With plenty of room for four blokes at the back and a bit of room for casting out front if you come across a school of tuna busting up the surface. Not that we'll be putting it to too much use today. After a quiet morning, the group decision is to put the rods away and spend the arvo relaxing at the Tangaluma Rex. And I suppose the beauty of a layout like this too, Hayden, when the fish aren't biting, you can take the bait board out, it's a family day. Yes, mate, yeah, if the fish aren't biting, the lounge just easily folds up, so you can sit down and relax at the back of the boat. Out come the snorkels, swim over to the wrecks, bait board becomes picnic table. Yeah, that's it, mate. <laughs> 